There is a new advisory for counties impacted by the deadly flooding tonight. Hello, it's good to have you with us this Thursday. I'm Bodie Brooks in for Amani Payne. Tetanus shots are now recommended to eastern Kentuckians. Danielle Miskell was in Breathitt County today to tell us some of the risks that residents there are facing in the phase to rebuild. These crops belong to Breathitt County farmer Willie Bush Jr. And he, like so many other residents here, are now in the rebuild and recovery phase. That means they're going to have to be touching metals like this barbed wire. They're constantly inhaling contaminated waters from this nearest creek, which is why it is imperative that he and so many of these flood victims now get their tetanus shot. Lady, tell me yesterday. Yeah, your doctor gave me one yesterday. Willie Bush Jr. went to the Jackson Medical Clinic Family Care Center for a poke in the arm. I didn't even feel it. And he didn't have to pay a dime for it because the clinic is waiving all charges for patients at this time. I was born and raised here, so um, I know a lot of the people and I'm part of the community. And money isn't really of the essence at a time like this. So you just kind of waive everything that's monetary and just do the best you can to help everybody out. From where Justin Neese is standing, he sees how flood victims are surrounded by numerous possibilities of getting sick from infections. A lot of the stuff that's been in the floodwaters, especially the metals, someone comes in contact, especially with an open wound or creating an op open wound. Not only by touch, but flood victims are easily susceptible to inhaling bacteria from mold to sewage water. Especially that, the sewage, when it does dry up, it becomes airborne. And a lot of people don't realize, so even if they're not directly in the waters and or they're closely around the waters, they can be breathing those airborne um, bacteria and then set up infection through that. Dr. Ellen T. Boss at the Jackson Medical Clinic says flood victims will suffer the following symptoms from tetanus. Just fevers, chills, um, at later stages it causes like muscle rigidity, neck stiffness. And she says it can even be fatal. As many Eastern Kentuckians like Willie Bush Jr. look to start over, their health is priority. And as for his crops... It's always next year, I hope. And Jackson Medical Clinic Family Health Care is also advising these flood victims to look at other antibacterial vaccines, including the hepatitis A shot. Reporting in Breathitt County, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.